Keyboard shortcuts are important in web and desktop applications. And today starts a three-part series on the widgets that make them work in Flutter. Focus, shortcuts, and actions. The first widget in this system is the focus widget. Focus widgets appear all over your widget tree, including every interactive section of your UI, like buttons and text inputs. Focus widgets exist to contain focus node objects, which in turn tell Flutter where various user interactions should first appear within your code. Collectively, this network of focus widgets and their focus nodes comprise yet another tree in your Flutter app, known as the focus tree. The first thing to know about this focus tree is that exactly one node is always considered to be active. And what does it mean for a focus node to be active? It means that special system events, like pressed keys on a physical keyboard, first appear at the focus widget containing the active focus node, before bubbling up to the top. And what do these key press events do as they work their way up your widget tree? They look for a shortcuts widget that matches the key press and turns it into an intent object, which starts back at the active focus node and resumes floating its way back up toward the top of your app. As for the focus widget, every interactive control in the Flutter framework, like buttons and text inputs, already contains the focus widgets they need. But occasionally, you may want to add your own if you're designing a custom experience from scratch, like, say, an accordion whose headers should be focusable, and which should expose keyboard shortcuts to toggle their panel's visibility. To do this, take your accordion's header widget and wrap its descendants in a focus widget. This is the first step to giving your accordion custom keyboard shortcuts. Stay tuned for the second and third steps on shortcuts and actions widgets. And for more info on Flutter's focus system and everything else, head to flutter.dev.